Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, exponential functions today, and we're going to look at sketching the graph of f of x equals to the power x. And you can make a table of values, and if x equals 0, y equals 1. If x equals 1, y will be 2. If x is 2, y will be 4. 3 will be 8, and so on. Here it will be a half, a quarter, and so on. And so the graph of this function looks like this. This is f of x equals to the power x. And if I think about what the key features of this graph are, the key points are the key features, the keys to this one are I have the y-intercept of 0, 1. I have a horizontal asymptote of y is equal to 0. And this point here, I would also say, is also kind of a key point because we recognize that it is, uh, it starts to make like the, the curve, how steep of a curve it actually is. So those are, simply put, the, f the three key features of the exponential function of 2 to the power x. I will also say that the domain is x can be any number, whereas the range, though, the range is going to be y is bigger than or equal to 0 because it's asymptotic here and so it's all above the, y ac the x axis and so y is always positive. Now, if I want to sketch the function, the inverse function, what I want to do then is I want to switch my x and y values. So this 0, 1 will become 1, 0. 1, 2 will become 2, 1. 2 will become 4, and so on. This horizontal, or this horizontal asymptote that is on the axis here will move to this position here. It gets reflected as well. And if I keep reflecting it, what I'll notice is that if I keep on doing these points, this one half will be, end up being here and here and so on. It ends up looking like this graph here. Also, another way to consider it, if I would look at the line y equals x, and I put it on a bit of a diagonal because it's not square, if I had the perfect line in the perfect position, it would reflect over this line as well. And so those are some ways to think about the inverse of this exponential function. If I want to take my function here, oh, let me do my original function in blue. If I want to look at my original function, which is y equals 2 to the x, if I want to find the inverse, then I have to switch my x and my y value. So x will be 2 to the y. And if I want to algebraically convert this, there is no possible way that we can by conventional methods. And mathematicians realize that. And so they introduced a brand new form of mathematics. And they realize that exponentials and logarithms are the same thing. So I'm going to, this is equivalent to y is equal to log base 2x. And so these two statements are exactly the same. And so there's a nice clear relationship between exponential functions and logarithmic functions. And so if I consider the domain and range of domain and range, well, <coughs> what happens is the domain will is going to be bigger than or equal. Oh, no equal to zeros. I've got to take those out. No equal to zeros. Just bigger than zeros. This range from the original is the domain of the inverse. And similarly, y can be any number I want because it could be any value here. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, again switching x and y. And key points are 1, 0 and 2, 1. All just switching my x and y's. And so there's a clear relation between logarithms and exponentials. And what I can recognize that I can say is I can say that if I have log to some base b 
of A is equal to P. That is exactly the same thing as saying a base B to the sum of power P is equal to A. These are exactly the same statement, just di written different ways. That's what logarithms mean. It means the base, this is the exponent to this base produces A. And so this is a true relationship. What I also know is we have common logarithms. If, if I have log base 10 of some value x, well, we never write the base 10. We just write it log is log of x. It's implied that that is 10. It's common. It's called common logarithm because it's used very often. Similarly, we have the natural logarithm, which is if I want to do log base e x. Well, that's also a very common one. It's exactly equal to the same thing as ln or ln x, the natural logarithm of x. So we don't, you don't see this written and you don't see this written. You see these two and it means exactly what I just scratched out there. And there's a nice introduction to logarithms for you.